Share, hosted by Liberation Sequence, and I'm out here today because Will from Mobile Sawmill has uh, donated some timber to uh, the construction of urban garden beds, and so I thought I'd come out here and just show you guys a little bit uh, bigger picture of, of what's going on here. So. Let's go take a look. Hi there, uh, my name is Luca Bia, and uh, what you are looking at is a project that my partner Maya and I have been working on for the last couple of years. So this particular um, project that you're looking at right now is a partnership that we've uh, created with a, a local millworks. Um, and these guys are doing an incredible work. Um, they are going up into the Black Forest uh, where there was a huge fire this spring that uh, devastated, I think, 500 houses. And just, it just tore through this forest for a week. And these guys have been going in and harvesting this, this, these burnt trees uh, free of charge from the victims of the fire, or for the victims of the fire. And they have this incredible portable mill, so they just mill the wood right there on site. And, um, and and then are, are trying to market the wood, take it to market. And then they have been so kind as to donate um, these, these outer cuts, um, which they cannot use uh, very readily. And we have figured out this really cool way to make these, these garden boxes. So this is uh, something that we're currently throwing our energy into. And um, you know, you can take a look at the, at the, at the boxes here. They're a little irregular, um, but um, I think that there's a certain aesthetic that comes from the reused material that uh, is really pleasing to the eye and um, and ultimately there's a full circle that's being established here. A resource that has been wasted by blight, wasted by fire, is being put to many, many reuses and it's being brought into our communities uh, where we really need clean food. People need access to clean food. And we're able to convert this into um, basically food for our communities. Um, so it's been really, really great partnering with these guys. And um, yeah, for the most part, we have been doing uh, our work for free in our neighborhoods. Uh, we've um, been helping our neighbors who um, low income, um, you know, single moms, um, senior citizens, that sort of thing. And we are starting to branch out to a model where it's uh, kind of a sliding scale. So we've got a couple of neighbors coming up who can actually afford to contribute a little bit to this process. Um, and their contributions are going to enable us to do the lady across the street who could not afford it. And that's really fantastic. Our project is called Liberation Sequence Gardens. And our uh, website is liberationsequence.com. Liberation Thanks very much. I'm Maya Bia and uh, with Liberation Sequence Gardens. I'm a community member and resident and we're doing a food revolution here. So we have a table today and we have many offerings. So we've got some, some tea, herbal infusion here, and we've got three different kinds of juices. And these are some of the vegetables that we grew in our garden this year. The main thing that we want to share here is a, that this is possible to do with food and there's a great sense of communion that happens when we share food and drink together. So we live in a food desert, uh, which means that you don't have a, a grocery store with fresh, healthy produce. Yeah, I'm not sure what the cutoff is, but most, I think the closest grocery store around here is maybe two and a half miles. On top of that, we live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of food insecurity. So food desert means that there's no access to food. Food insecurity means you can't afford food and so you're going hungry or you're going without. So a good way to handle the food issue, being in a food desert and with people who are food insecure, is to grow our own food. So if we're putting the, if we're putting the food out front like we have in the boxes and people are able to pick on their way home, then maybe we can address some of the, the fresh food access because there's absolutely, we've got a liquor store every, we got a lot of liquor stores, <laughs> but we don't have any, we don't have any fresh food. My name is Patrick Hogan. I'm, uh, I'm on the board of director of Love Up Uprising. Uh, I am a boxing coach here. I'm also, Gerald put me on the grill. So I got some chicken. I got 
drumsticks in there. I got uh, some regular burgers there. No, I'm afraid of those. And I got some vegetarian burgers right here. No. Huh? I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> So my name is Alicia Havey. I'm part of the WISE Council and um, also part of the steering committee for Harvest Share Denver. So we got a lot of produce from a local community garden at Barrett in Elementary and uh, we were able to get enough to share with the community. So this is, um, the, this is a produce that people are um, invited to take and eat at home. A lot of people haven't really cooked eggplant before, or haven't done anything with kale, so we can talk about recipes and really how to prepare this delicious, fresh, local food. Butternut squash in the fall, delicious. I like to puree it and uh, make ravioli and uh, use a little sage brown butter sauce. Um, and they can take as much as they want of it. My name is Delphinia. I'm doing a vegetable medley, um, grilled vegetables, and um, I'm gonna spread it with a zucchini, with the zucchini spread. So it's all of his, well, all, all vegetables. We're also gonna deep fry some zucchini blossoms. We're gonna juice some um, zucchini. We're also gonna do some pickling as well. I have all my um, vinaigrettes, uh, my vinegar over here that I have to heat up. So hopefully we'll be able to do a demonstration show people how they can actually take vegetables and buy them at a bowl and, um, and preserve them to use them for later on during the winter time. I, I just encourage people to, not, not to mention I grew up on vegetables, so I encourage people to, you know, just partake in uh, the things that, that we have to offer in our own backyards, literally. Personal chef service called Savor Life. We offer holistic meals, nutrition counseling, as well as diet help. You know, eating well is very important for your body, so it's a personal chef service that allows you to do that whenever you'd like to. By having me come to your home and prepare great nutritious meals. Holistic meals are made with your health, for your body, mind, soul and spirit and mind. All the food that's used is environmentally conscious and all the meals prepared are healthy and are great for your body. Today, I'm preparing a kale salad with fresh squash as it is fall time. I have some grated squash in there with a fresh watermelon vinaigrette. I've prepared here today with some apples and pears in there. We're just going to mix that all together and serve it fresh. Some great nutrition. This is Dalai Lama and this is Luna the Goat. Uh, I'm with I Support, my local farmer. Um, part of the March Against Monsanto, Healthy Family Festival downtown. We were invited over to the festival on 35th and Albion. They told me I should come over here too. So I brought my animals to meet the kids. This is a Friendly Water for the World booth because I'm an intern with Friendly Water. And what Friendly Water does is empowerment. Empowering and knowledge. Knowledge about clean water because that is one of the biggest problems of the world today. Um, Friendly Water for the World empowers communities by building water sand, biosand filters. And the difference between biosand water filters and regular filters is that biosand water filters mimic nature and are very efficient. It produces 80 liters of water a day by filtering through the sand and coming back up through this tube. By the time it filters through the sand and coming back out of this tube, um, 95 to 100% of all harmful diseases in the water have gone through the sand and been stuck in the sand. Um, communities raise their own money for this in order to be self-sufficient in producing these water filters. There are local employees, um, the materials are local. Um, the only thing that they need is this metal mold, and once they have a mold, they can produce as many filters as they want. Friendly Water helps them get the molds, and um, employing locals. I painted a couple of doors not too long ago, and I, people throw these old doors away. These are closet doors, and there's one over there, and I don't know, I just, you know they're going to throw them away. Hey. I'll do something with them. <laughs> and I was going to hang this up, but I didn't do it. But uh, my, I used the studio name of Randy MC2 Studio. And actually, the studio is my home, and my name is Randy. All right, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.